Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a lovely card using uh, products from the latest release by Altenew. By the way, this video is part of a blog hub, so make sure to visit my blog because there are lots of giveaways along the way as well as lots of inspiration. The November release by Altenew has beautiful designs just like always and they would uh, be perfect also for scrapbooking so if you do scrapbooking make sure to check them out. I'm not going to show you the whole release today I'm just going to show you a few of the Altenew stamps and matching ties that I really love from the latest release and um, let's start with this stamp set. This is the Golden Feather stamp set and matching dies and um, you get uh, beautiful designs of feathers as well as lovely bold handwritten sentiments. This is the Snapshot stamp set and uh, you can create this beautiful focal point with that camera and it is actually a layering stamp so you can stamp all the different elements on top of it to create uh, your customized uh, camera and um, there are also matching dies. This camera is big enough to make a beautiful focal point on your cards as well as your scrapbooking pages. Now this is a stamp that I will be using today, it's called Story of Us, it features a beautiful layering uh, flower as well as beautiful sayings to go along with your flower and you can see the result here. There is a guide at the bottom on which layer goes on top of which one but it's quite free so you won't uh, have any trouble with that at all. This is the journaling card uh, builder and you get this standard journaling card to stamp and write on top your journaling and you will get uh, the days as well as beautiful words to stamp on top of your journaling card in this beautiful handwritten uh, uh, font. There is also a matching die that will cut out uh, this journaling card and it gives you rounded corners. And uh, this is Forever and a Day stamp set. It has lovely sentiments. It uh, features these uh, two branches that give you a nice circle. And uh, this is a great uh, nesting uh, point where you can uh, put inside your uh, pictures if you do scrapbooking or your focal points if you love card making. And I will be using this as well today. Now you get matching dice if you wish so. So I will uh, use uh, three different uh, or probably four different uh, stamp sets today to create my card. Just to give you more ideas on how you can use them but make sure to check out the rest of the release because there are beautiful uh, stamps and dies. So I'm starting with the stamp set that is called Story of Us and I will go ahead and stamp the rose as well as the little uh, leaf. Now I'm starting with the first layer and for doing my stamping I'm going to use a set by Altenew. These are the oval sets and the one I'm using is called Red Sunset. I'm going to stamp the first layer with the lightest of uh, the colors from this set which is called Blush and uh, for doing my stamping I'm using my Tim Holtz stamping platform. So here is my first layer, now I'm going to move on to the second layer and at the bottom of the packaging you will find a guide on which layer goes on top of which one. But you will see that it's quite free, this is a very loose uh, design so you don't really need to worry about it, it's going to work fine no matter where you put it. Now I'm going to use the second uh, from the lightest colors from this uh, uh, ink set and uh, this is Rouge. Now I'm moving to the third layer of the flower and this time I'm going to use crimson. So I'm going to close the door, I'm going to apply my ink there. And you can see already that I get a beautiful flower just with the two shades of ink. Now here is the third one and uh, it already looks beautiful, you don't really need to use all four layers of uh, the flower. Now for the fourth layer, instead of using an ink, a darker ink, I will uh, use my Versamark ink so that I can add some gold embossing powder. Now, first of all, I need to make sure that the previous ink is uh, dry, otherwise the embossing powder is going to stick all over the rose. And uh, now I'm going to apply some uh, powder with my... This, this is a tool that is going to remove uh, static electricity, so the embossing powder is going to stick only where it's supposed to. Now I'm making uh, the fourth layer of uh, the flower and stamping it there and now I'm going to apply some uh, rose gold embossing powder by Altenew. 
This is a beautiful uh, embossing powder. It is uh, very thin, so it will grab uh, every detail on your stamp. And I just love the effect. Now, I have uh, heat set my embossing powder. And you see the touch of gold that I get on my flower. Now, we'll go ahead and do more stamping. And this time, I'm going to stamp the leaves. Now, the leaves, again, are um, very loose in uh, design. And you can stamp them separately if you wish. Or you can stamp one on top of the other. It's up to you. Now for stamping I'm going to use another uh, set of oval inks by Altenew and this is called Green Fields and I'm going to show you how I store them on my shelf. So I like to have a rubber band along with the swatches on top of them and this really makes my life easy when it comes to layering stamping. I always know which um, stamp, which ink goes on top of which one. Now I'm going to use the two lightest ones from this set so I'm going to use the Freight Leaf and Forest Glades and as always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog and I'm also going to link there the names of all the ink pads that I have used. So you see that uh, you can leave the leaves as they are, you don't really need to stamp the second layer or you can stamp the second layer separately and have two different designs of leaves. Instead I decided to go one on top of the other just to get that extra dimension and you will see that in the final card I am going to introduce even more of these leaves because I decided that two weren't enough for my flower composition. Now, just because I want to add a touch of uh, gold again on the leaves, just like I did with the flower, I'm going to bring in my powder tool because I'm going to do some embossing. So I have applied my powder there and I'm bringing in one um, embossing pen. There are uh, different embossing pens by different brands. They all do the same thing. I have one by Versamark, another one by Ranger, another one by wow just use anyone you have and I'm going to draw a line there it doesn't have to be perfect again the design is quite loose and uh, you can draw a line at the center or even you can add some uh, touches on the sides of your leaves now I'm going to apply the same embossing powder as I did for the rose so again this is rose gold and I'm going to use my heat gun to melt the embossing powder now I'm going to use the forever and a day stamp set and I'm going to use the smallest branches. I'm going to stamp that with a Versa marking and then I'm going to apply again the same rose gold embossing powder. I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun and at this stage I finished with all my stamping so I'll move on and start doing my die cutting. Now for the roses and the leaves there are no matching dies but there are matching dies for the branches. And this is where I realized that I had to do the die cutting first and then do the stamping on the branch because the way it is uh, designed, you can't really tell how to place that on top of your stamped image. But uh, there is a way to get uh, over that. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, since I don't want to do the embossing all the way from the beginning. Now I'm going to use this uh, scrap paper. I'm going to die cut. And I'm going to use this as a mask. I'm going to place it on top of uh, my stamped image. You can secure it at the back if you don't want that to move. And then you will find that uh, the die kind of uh, drops inside that uh, hole and it's going to stay there. So you will be able to cut out perfectly your design. But again, you can uh, do it the other way around. Just remember that with this tip, you will get that white border perfectly aligned. And since there are no matching dies for the flower and the leaves, I'm just going to use my scissors and just go all around it. And since I do have a white border around my branches, I will leave a white border around the rest of my elements, so everything is going to match. Now, last week when I did the review on my Tim Holtz guillotine, I said that you cannot create a top folding card, but I'm going to show you that it is possible thanks to the lovely comments from uh, some of you that uh, told me to first score and then cut out. It's uh, one of those uh, moments that you see how, why didn't I think of it, so I just had to share it with you. So first I scored my letter-sized cardstock at uh, five and a half. And by the way, I'm using a super heavy cardstock that I like to use for my card bases. This is 120 pounds. And now I'm going to score at four and a quarter. And you will see that it's going to work beautifully. And there you get your top folding cards. So a big thank you to all of uh, you that shared this tip with me. And I just had to share it with the rest of you.
Now, I have my top folding card ready and uh, I decided to use another stamp set from the latest release just because I want to show you different ways on how you can use them. And uh, I'm going to use this journaling card just to show you that this is not just for uh, scrapbooking. I am going to stamp it on uh, a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to cut it out with uh, the matching die and I'm also going to emboss it. Again, I'm going to use the rose gold embossing powder, so all the elements are going to match perfectly with each other. At the top of the journaling card is where I'm going to stamp the sentiment for my card and I went with a sentiment that says so lucky to have you. Again I have stamped it with Versamarking and applied my rose gold embossing powder. And now the last element for my card is going to be a tab and uh, I'm going to use the matching dies from uh, the tab uh, stamp set. This is also from the latest release by Alte New, so I'm trying to decide which one of those tabs I'm going to use and I'm going to cut it out of gold cardstock. This is one of those tabs that you can fold at the top and uh, I'm using my scoring board just to make sure that I get a nice folding there and my tab is ready. I have also cut out a second uh, journaling card just by using the die and uh, the gold cardstock so the tab and the gold cardstock matches perfectly with the rest of the theme and I do have some uh, gold accents here and there on pretty much every element that I got and you can see that I have already stamped a couple of more leaves just to have them on hand. Now I'm going to start assembling my card and I'm working on my card base, my white card base and I'm going to do some splashes with gold acrylic paint just to have something going on at the background. Now I'm going to embellish the top of my journaling card with that tab, so I'm just sticking it at the center. Then I'm going to stick this white journaling card on top of the gold one, just to have a few layers there. They do add more interest on your card and it is going to help uh, uh, that uh, white uh, journaling card to pop against the white background. I'm going to stick that on an angle on top of my card base and I used tape adhesive for that and I'm going to create my flower arrangement. For the back of my flower I'm going to add some foam squares just to have that dimension that I always like to have and for the rest of uh, the elements like the branches and the leaves I'm just going to use tape adhesive. So as I'm putting everything together, just to remind you that this is a part of a blog hop as we celebrate the November release by Alte New, make sure to visit my blog, you will find a giveaway there, but you will find links to the rest of the designers, uh, you will find lots of inspiration along the blog hop and lots of giveaways. So make sure to hop along with us, if you are watching on YouTube, you will find the link to my blog post down below in the description area. And here is a close-up look on the finished card with the beautiful shine that I get from all the golden elements. And that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and I'll see you all next time!